Hey guys, it's Raf here. It's been a while since I've done a YouTube update, but here I am, about to get delivered onto your faces some cool update news. So, here we go. Back in October, I went to this new local convention called uh, Con of the Mountain. It's a literary outreach convention, if I remember correctly, and you got a free comic book, and the admission was free. So, I was like, why wouldn't I go to this? It sounds freaking amazing. So, I hit up some local... Uh, costume makers and cosplayers that live in my area. And I was like, hey, do you guys want to go check this out? And they were like, yeah, sure. So we all piled in the truck and went there. We got a little confused as to where it was, but we managed to straighten that out. Um, and we went there. It was a really, really awesome time. I had a lot of fun. I met a local cosplayer, Kira Fox. She was actually cosplaying Bulma. Really cool, really spot on. I liked her her uh, her wig and get up it looked really awesome um, the game room and the dealers room they were both combined in one which I thought was a really cool uh, uh, space saving aspect um, there were a lot of role-playing games going on um, dungeons dungeons of dragons pathfinder and not that far off there were a lot of magic players. Yes, I know, my people. There were some really cool spot-on cosplayers there, especially this one Jack Sparrow cosplayer. It, that dude was, like, on point. I thought he was Johnny Depp for a second. Like, I seriously thought he was Johnny Depp. Anyway, um, all in all, for year two, I thought this was a really great convention, and if it stays like this for next year, I will be returning to it. Next up is NecoCon. I actually went there back in November 4th, 5th, and 6th. I was there the whole weekend. I wore my suit of armor and my steampunk getup, which they both desperately need repairs, honestly, if I, I really should go do that. But <coughs> um, NecoCon is a 20-year-old convention that educates people in the ways of the anime whatever that is. The dealer's room was really awesome. I love the dealer's room. I ran into some artists and some uh, cosplayers I met at Con, Con of the Mountain, which took place the month before. Uh, almost exactly a month before. Wow. Um, I had the most like philosophical and best game of Commander at NecoCon. It was like a three-hour game, but God, if I didn't have fun. Like, seriously. I am a huge Magic the Gathering player. I love Commander. It's the only format. All the others I don't really care about. I mean, but that's a whole other ball of wax. Um, I got some great shots of me and my armor um, here. And I even, I'll put one like right here too to show off. Um, I met some cool photographers. I saw this really, really, really awesome Fallout suit of armor. I'm just gonna put that like right here. Yeah. Um, I even, I, I ran into Kira Fox again. She was there at NecoCon and I was like, oh wow, hey, I literally like ran past her because I got caught up in this cosplay, uh, cosplay parade or whatever you call it. NecoCon, hands down, was a blast. And you know, I wouldn't mind going again next year. It's not that far from where I live. It really isn't. It's out in Hampton, Virginia. It's... I had a lot of fun. Great memories were made. Now for you guys to find out what I've been up to these past few months. So, earlier this year, I met some other local costumers, costume and prop makers, who happened to like the hobby that I do. And they saw my suits of armor and the costumes that I've made which are only two for right now. I'm still working on the third one. Um, and we all came together and we decided to form a club. It's called the Cosplayers of Lynchburg, Virginia. We meet every third Saturday and I got elected as the vice president, so to speak. Um, to which case, you know, all that responsibility. I, I, all in all, it's a fun, fun little uh, group gathering of like-minded creative individuals I really like the atmosphere. I really like... <sighs> Fuck you! Not you guys, the phone. I've been working on some new gaming accessories. I've been brainstorming ideas for playmats. Uh, like I've said, I'm a huge Magic the Gathering player, and I like the idea of getting blank white playmats and drawing on them and whatnot. I've made some new dice holders. I'm actually gonna 
put photos like right here. Uh, one's supposed to be a ghost and the other's supposed to be a skull. The skull is actually a commission for a buddy. I've been working on some new uh, Magic the Gathering artwork for tokens because I like making foil tokens. I mean, who doesn't? One more thing that I want to point out. I finally have business cards of my own, actually. I went ahead and I got those made right before NecoCon, actually, so that people could have some way to contact me. I have two cosplays that I do want to do, definitely. I want to make a suit of Isaac Clarke's engineer armor from Dead Space. I thought that was awesome. The level, the level 3 suit for that game I thought was pretty freaking awesome. He looked like a tank. What's not badass about that? I want to do Sergeant James Heller from Prototype 2 because, well, he's another badass. And I like the whole uh, big arm blade that he has. It's like, Whoa, look at it. It's a big knife. Um, I actually had this really cool idea where I would do all of his different upgrades throughout the game and wear them a different day at the, con at the convention. And I would probably try and do something like that with Isaac Clark, where I would make uh, attachments for each one of the suits. I would make one suit and then just wear bits of armor upgrading it every day as I go. Just slap them on and go. You know, just to show progression throughout the game, so to speak. I went to Connecticon earlier this year and it was a blast. Got some awesome photos. Um, my badge was cool. There was LineCon for those of you who are at Connecticon. <laughs> LineCon 2016. Oh, <laughs> ah. what I have to say about 2016 as a whole, it's been a good year, met some great people, very thankful for the people that I have in my life now, and I'm hoping I can go to more conventions and really improve what I'm working on with, you know, my costuming and my prop building and uh, my, game, my game accessory making and all that, and I, I personally want to thank everyone who has supported me and what I'm doing now and pursuing what I want to do. Um, thank you. Thank all of you. Seriously. From me to you. Thank you.